Hi, Larry here again at Chesapeake RV Solutions, your home of the RV warranty for life. Today we're going to walk through the three different floor plans we have for this Clipper 9.0. The first one being the Escape, which is the base model. That one comes in at 1,500 pounds. Here's the Clipper 9.0 Escape, and it does have the battery tray and the uh, spot for a propane tank. This one is one that's actually 1,500 pounds dry weight. It does have the roof rack. It also has that pass-through. And this is perfect for tent campers that want to get up off the ground. Probably going to take you half the time to set up as well. It does have four stabilizers on the back and the front. Just walking around as it's closed up, you'll see Clipper 9.0 Escape. It's got the foldable steps going in. 30 amp service. You do have a solar hookup as well. And the nice thing about these, they all have the wheels in the front, and they're light enough if you have to move around the driveway or something like that, or in the garage. You can definitely move them around by hand. Let's open this thing up and see what the inside looks like. By the way, that is a fiberglass roof, and it does have aluminum siding which the flat aluminum gives it a nice look, but it is a fiberglass roof again. So here's the 9.0 Escape, and looking on the inside, you can see it does have that full-size bed, two windows on either side of the bed, and it does have that 12-volt fan or vent up front, and a little bit of counter space as well. Your circuit panel, propane detector, countertop as well. Okay, if you notice, the door is actually stored on your bed, but it is real easy to snap in and you put it on these little pegs here and it gives you the full-size door. Also, these tent ends do have screens in them, so you can let a, a lot of the air flow through. Now we're going to go look at the Express model, and that one comes in about 1,600 pounds. Now here is the 9.0 Express model. It still has that wheel on the bottom so moving around your driveway or your garage wouldn't be a hassle also it does have room for the battery and the propane tank and you still have your capacitor that goes all the way through and it has a little table out there this one's a little bit different now this one actually has a nine gallon fresh tank so you do have an outside shower this also has a furnace and the channel rail there that's actually for a flat top griddle you do have a light there as well. GFI receptacle there on the bottom. And of course, you can't forget about your four-legged friends. So it does have a pet leash. And this is a 9.0 Escape. Oh, it's a little bit different. This has an AC to it as well. And a six gallon water heater. 30 amp hookup, of course. It does have a solar port as well. So, a little bit of an upgrade from the Escape. This one also has the roof rack, but it also has a solar panel on the roof. And I believe that's 190 watt. And the fiberglass roof, of course. So we're gonna pop this one open and see what it looks like on the inside. So you can see the steps going up in same bed as the Escape, and same door, windows on the side of the bed as well, that's a full-size inner spring mattress, does have that vent pan up in the front, but because this has a solar panel, you do have a 
solar charge controller. You do have a furnace in this unit, and you also do have the AC. Also, actually has a sink. Remember, it has that nine gallon fresh tank, a little bit of countertop, and actually right here, there's a 12 volt, 110 volt refrigerator freezer. Kind of looks like a cooler, but it's nice when you go camping to have something other than put nice in a cooler. Also, it does come with that flat top griddle that you can put on that channel rail on the outside. Just to show you what it looks like with the solar panel on the roof when it's popped up. Trying to give you a good picture. Remember those flaps for the frames are there. You want to get a nice airflow in there. And that door does snap in the tent end there. It goes into the post and it's real easy to set up as well. This time we're going to go through the Explorer model. And that's actually one of the heaviest ones, but it's only 1,700 pounds. This is the Clipper 9.0 Explorer. And this one's the Mac Daddy of them all, which I'll show you in just a bit. But this one also has, oh, by the way, that's what the spare tires look like. When they come in transport, they come five at a time, and they take the spares off to be able to fit them on the flatbed. And still have the solar panel on the roof. You also have the luggage rack, and that is a fiberglass roof, aluminum siding. This one has an AC, nine gallon fresh tank, 30 amp service, has a six gallon water heater, and all of these actually have 15 inch all terrain tires. And they actually flip the axle to be able to fit those tires on there. You do have room for your battery box, of course, and a tank of propane. Now this is what makes this one the Mac Daddy of them all. This is actually your flat top griddle. Slide through that tray there. And I know I mentioned the 12 volt or 110 volt portable coolers. These are refrigerator and freezer. You still have your table in there. You can slide your grill underneath that table there. Slide everything right inside that pass-through. That's pretty cool. And like I said, this is the Mac Daddy Clipper. By the way, it does have a propane line underneath for that flat top griddle. And this one already unlatched this side, but it does have struts to hold help pop that up and you'll see how easy it is in just a second and your solar panel you do have a luggage rack up there as well but that's all it takes to set it up boom your steps going up again this is your half door but like the other ones you do have your door full door sitting on your bed and that's a full size Inner spring mattress. Sorry about the traffic noise. This is uh, right in front, so you can't miss it. You also have your two windows like the others on your bed. You can see I unzipped one of those flaps so you can see the screen and be able to get plenty of breeze in here. GFI receptacle, AC wall mounted. You do have a sink. Remember, this has a nine gallon fresh tank. There's your furnace your solar control charger your 30 amp service another cubby hole for storage explore oh you have a bottle opener hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of these clipper 9.0s and the three different floor plans and just to let you know i had to look this up a kia soul one of those hamster mobiles can actually pull one of these if you have any questions on these or any other that we have on our site, 
please give us a call, come by and see us. And again, here at Chesapeake RV Solutions, we're here to help you create the memories you'll talk about forever. Thank you.